Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here covering hole number 13 of the St. Patrick's Day Tournament. This is a par 3. Now, I'm going to play this one uh, with a navigator. However, if you have a flamingo ball available that they were giving away in the golden shot, that's a wind resistance 5 P1. That would be an excellent ball to use on this hole because I'm going to go for the rough bump. This is a final round. Sometimes you have to take dangerous shots. This is dangerous because we have a very thin amount of rough to work on. If you hit a great ball to the right, I'm going to assume you're going to send a flyer. Um, a great ball to the left, I'm not sure what would happen there, but uh, I'm sure with a great right and the wind pushing that way, you will not hit the rough and hit the uh, fairway and bounce out. Now, 2.3 mile per hour wind, very low wind here, 0.9 left, 1.8 top. Please note here that I am offsetting just to the left-hand side of the cup. Maybe just a little bit of my ball guideline is still in the circle cup. <clears throat> You'll see here that the speed comes in good. I'm just going to miss this one by a millimeter to the right-hand side. I wish I would have thought about the flamingo ball uh, after I practiced. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, Again, if you got the flamingo ball that they gave away in the golden shot and you're having a really great round, if this if this drop right here would set your score off, then by all means use it. You know, if you're having a bad round, no no reason to use that ball, just save it for a different tournament. But anyways, that's hole number 13. Doing the best that I can to get these dialed in for you. Please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. I'll see you soon for 14. Thanks everybody.